Hi, my name is Ashley Harder and I'm a student at Everything Goes Dance Studio and I'm going to be t doing a tutorial over the Miss Amy bun and I'm going to be doing it on my mother. Hi. Okay, so you can do the bun anywhere on the head, but my favorite place to do it is a middle part and then a low bun like by the neck. So you're going to start with a middle part straight down the head and as evenly as possible. You don't have to go all the way down though because the bun is going to be down there. And then after that, you're going to want to put all the hair into a really slick low ponytail. Okay, so for the ponytail part, you're going to want to start with using gel and you're going to want to put like a squirt of it on both sides of the hair. And then once you do that, you're going to want to use your hands and spread it as evenly as possible throughout the hair. Once you have it as even as possible, you're going to want to put some at like right where the part ends so that you make sure the back is smooth too. Once you have that, you're going to want to grab all the hair and take your comb, that's the easiest thing to do it with, and brush all the hair down as slick as possible into a low ponytail. Once you have all your hair as slick as possible, you're gonna wanna put your hair into a low ponytail and wrap the hair tie around it as many times as you can to make it as tight as possible. And you're gonna see some bumps around the ponytail and probably at the top of the head too, but you can just take some more gel and put it around the head and spread that around the hair again. Once you have your hair in the ponytail and you put more gel on it, you're going to take your comb and you're going to comb through the hair while it's in the ponytail just to get all those bumps at the very back right where the hair tie is. And it's going to look bumpy at first, but we can fix it later. Where you're going to want to put the most hairspray or gel, whichever one you're using, is right by the ears and right underneath your ponytail because that's where usually most people's wispies are the most. As you can probably see, there's a ton of bumps right here. So you're going to want to take your hair tie out, but try to keep your hand right where it is and just smooth out the bumps with your hand right before you put the ponytail back in. If there's some bumps, it's fine and because the bun, the actual bun part will probably be covering them. And like, I usually do a middle part low bun, but this is kind of turned into a middle part middle bun, but they're pretty close to the same thing. After you have your hair in the ponytail and it all slicked down, you're going to want to take some hairspray. I use the Suave Extreme Hold or the Tresemme, like the one in the black bottle, 
and you spray down all the extra wispies that are still here and it sometimes can get the bumps right by where the hair tie is placed also. Most of her wispies are right by the ear, so I usually cover the ears so that they don't get any hairspray in their ears. You know, like spray it and then use your hand to lick it down. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Cover the ear and spray it. Don't be afraid to use a lot because I use a ton. After you get done hairspraying all the hair right behind the ponytail, you're going to want to split their hair into two sections and have them hold one side of it down. You're going to want to take a small little dot of gel on your finger and then you want to kind of rub it in and then rub it all throughout the hair that's in the ponytail or well the one side of the hair. You're going to want to twist it clockwise because I'm going to be making the bun in a clockwise motion. Once you have all of it twisted or well most of it because it will probably come out of the twist while you're doing the bun, you're going to want to wrap it in a clockwise motion and bobby pin starting right from where you twisted it all the way to about halfway around their hair. I usually take just a normal bobby pin that I get at Target and I stick it straight like into their scalp and then I twist it down to their scalp and push it in. And I do that all around the hair until you get to, so you start from one ear and go to the next one. I usually use about five to seven bobby pins for just half of it. Once you get there, you can drop this hair and you're going to want to do the same exact thing. Start with the gel and you're going to want to put it all through the next piece of hair. So you take a little dot, rub it into your fingers a little bit like that and then you're going to want to run it all through the hair and then start twisting it. And if you have a lot of wispies throughout it, you can take some hairspray again and spray it lightly and then twist. So after you get done twisting about three quarters of the way down the hair, you're gonna take, like follow the exact same path from ear to ear, just right above the first twist that you did. Again, stick the bobby pin straight into the scalp and push it downwards and then push in. For this second strand, I usually start at about the like the middle of their neck, bobby pinning it, and I go until right above where I stopped for the next strand of hair. You're gonna want to make sure that this bun is as flat to the head as it can be while you're bobby pinning it in and some bobby pins might be sticking out so you're just going to want to push those as far into the scalp as you can and you're going to want to continue this motion 
all the way until you finish the bun. But you're gonna wanna, so once you finish this second strand that you just did, you're gonna wanna go back to the first strand that you started with. And from now on, I'm gonna use hairspray to spray it because getting gel every time is a little bit of a hassle. You wanna spray it and then twist and try to not get any of the hair that you, in the second strand. Once you start the second, or well, I guess you would say the third way around the hair, it can depend on how long the hair is, how thick the hair is, on how big the bun can be. And you just wanna Keep on putting bobby pins all throughout the hair while you're twisting it and putting it around. This time I started right where the ear is and I went all the way to like the top corner of their head and you're not you don't want to finish you don't want to bobby pin the like tail of the hair in until you get all of the hair bobby pinned in again i'm going to hairspray the next strand and twist it this makes sure that you don't have as many wispies Going to twist it around and bobby pin like you did the rest of the hair. Since this strand was a little shorter, it will end at a different point of the head than the first strand that you finished. And you can bobby pin the second tail a little bit more than you did the first tail. So that is what it should look like by now. And then you're gonna wanna hairspray as much as you can to get those wispies down. But make sure you don't put the tail down yet. At this point, you're wanting to bobby pin all it, those extra pieces that you may not have gotten throughout the hair. So it might be some pieces sticking out. You're gonna wanna bobby pin those in before you bobby pin the tails in. After you finish hairspraying as much of the hair as you can, the tails will still be out. You're gonna wanna take a hairnet that matches your hair color, of course and you're gonna want to start at the very bottom and wrap it around and catch the tails of it. And if your hair is long enough and like thick enough, you're gonna want to wrap it around until you can't anymore. See, I can't put that in. So I'm gonna take the excess of the hairnet twist it and make sure you have all points of the hairnet tucked in so that you can't really tell that the hairnet is there and once you twist the excess of the hairnet you're going to want to take it take a bobby pin straight through the hairnet and do that same motion of just pushing it into the hair and then whichever way the hairnet flows easier, go on a bobby pin all this excess into the like bottom of the bun so that you can't see it. I usually start with bobby pinning the very end of the hairnet and then bobby pinning all the excess of it.
Make sure you have no points of the hairnet sticking out. And then the tails, they won't be twisted into the bun, but you're gonna want to, wherever the tail was, you'll want to take a bobby pin and just push that underneath the bun. You might still see some excess wispies, like at the back of the neck. So you can just take that with a bobby pin and push that into the bun and it should stay in place. And I'm still putting bobby pins around the hairnet, just making sure that you can't see the excess of it. At this point, the hairnet should be all wrapped around nicely and the bun is almost finished. You just might see some bobby pins sticking out. You're gonna wanna shove those back into the head. Just make sure you don't put them too far into the scalp or it will really hurt. So whichever bobby pins you feel, you're just gonna wanna push them in until you can't really feel them anymore. And so once you get that, the bun should look like this. And you're just gonna wanna finish it all off with some more hairspray. Just spray it all around the head and take your hand and slick it down. And then I like to spray the actual bun part because there might still be a little bit of wispies coming through the hairnet. And you're done.